Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to paint a jellyfish. There's a lot of colors for this one. You're going to need blue, black, I got a light blue and teal, purple, pink, orange, yellow, white, and green. I'm going to use my favorite brushes. I've got my one inch flat brush, my 10, six, and one round brushes. Don't forget to have a rag and a cup of water handy for keeping your brushes clean. So let's get started. If you do not have a black canvas, you can actually just go and take black paint and paint your whole canvas black, and then you'll be ready to go. So if you need to paint your canvas black, go ahead and do that now, push pause, get it dry, and then come right back. If you already have a dry canvas, let's go ahead and get started. I've got my number 10 round brush, and I'm gonna make some rays of light coming from you know above the water, coming from the right down. So I'm going to take some water on my paintbrush. I've got my number 10 round brush with a little bit of water on it. And I'm going to take some pink paint and I'm just going to draw some lines down. I don't want it to be drippy. So if, if you're getting drips, you're going to want to add some more paint to your brush. But if you're not getting drips, that's perfect. So just some lines down. Once I have those, I can wipe that brush off, wash that brush off. I'm going to do the same thing with purple. So a little bit of water on my brush, some purple paint, and add some more lines. So all these lines are radiating from this corner of my canvas down. We're going to do this with one more color. We're going to do it with that teal color, that not the light blue, not the dark blue, but that teal color. Let's go ahead and add in some of our sea life down here on the bottom. You could do any type of coral you want, and I even have a video that has a whole bunch of different types of coral, so have fun with it. But what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of sea life down here. So I'm gonna start with some white paint, and I'm gonna create the, a little bump, okay? And this little bump is gonna be a, a coral. And I can go ahead and paint that whole space in white. Anytime I want something to be really bright on a black background, I like to paint it white first just to give it a good base. I'm also going to add a couple of little rectangles that shoot up, and these rectangles are going to have a curved top to them. I'm going to add maybe three of these. Now this bump over here, I'm going to paint it a yellow color. And it'll need a second coat of paint, so we'll come back to that in a little bit. These guys over here, I'm going to go ahead and paint them orange. Now these orange ones over here, we're also gonna let dry. So I'm gonna let this whole background dry. When we come back, we'll add in our next layer. With a dry background, I'm gonna go ahead and add my next layer of yellow, and then my little details on this. So once that yellow's on there, then I can, you could choose any color you want. I'm gonna stick with orange. And so I'm gonna take orange on my finger and I'm just going to kind of dot and dab at the top of this shape to give it a texture. As it kind of comes down. So it's gonna be more orange at the top and those little dots are gonna slowly turn into a yellow.
Now for these tubes over here, what I'm gonna do is at the very top of the tube, I'm gonna add a little bit of white paint and an oval. Then I'm gonna take some pink and some orange on my brush at the same time. And I'm just gonna make some curved lines through here. A little bit of pink, a little bit of orange, and these curved lines can go on both sides. Go ahead and wash that brush off. So let's go ahead and add in some of our green pieces now, but we are gonna have a couple to go over our jellyfish. So for my green pieces, I'm again gonna start with white. I don't mind if these colors mix in because if the orange mixes in, it's just gonna make it a little browner. If the yellow mixes in, it's gonna make it a little brighter. Either way is fine. But I'm gonna take my brush and start here and just kind of wave it on down. And I'm gonna start back up at the top again. And as I come back down, I'm gonna make it fatter. And you can add as many or as few of these as you want. I'm gonna add three right now. I make sure that they are just slightly different sizes. You don't wanna have them all be the exact same. And after that white's on there, I can go ahead and wash my brush off and add my green in. take a little bit of yellow and put some yellow on here. All right, we're gonna let this dry and we come back, we are gonna start to add in our jellyfish. Okay, so my background is totally dry. I'm gonna ready, I'm ready for my jellyfish. So I'm gonna start off with my number 10 round brush and some white paint. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an elongated oval, but it has to be fat enough to be both the top and the backside of my jellyfish. So to do that, I'm gonna make a curved line right up here. Okay, and from that curved line, I'm gonna try to copycat it down by the base. So it kinda looks like a large melon, all right? Now, from that large melon, we're gonna make some loops. And so I'm gonna take this white paint and I'm gonna start right here with a very long letter U, okay? And that long letter U can kind of start a little narrow and kind of come a little wider at the base. And I'm gonna copycat those letter U's all the way to the edge of this oval. and they're gonna get smaller as they go out. Once I have that on there, I'm gonna work on the shape of this right here. Okay, and to do that, I'm gonna start off with some of that teal color paint, and I'm gonna re-outline the top of this. With some white and teal. I'm gonna wipe most of the paint off my brush, and I'm just gonna take some of those lines and pull them down. Now, I don't have to cover this up all the way. Your jellyfish are a transparent little creature. So I don't need to cover it in fully. I'm okay seeing some of that black through. At the top of that, because I want it to be kind of shiny at the top, I'm gonna go in with smaller lines of white. I'm 
I'm gonna go in with my medium blue color and I'm just gonna make a couple, and I'm actually gonna water it down. I wasn't going to, but I think I am. I'm gonna water it down and I'm gonna make some lines in the center of these areas. Some can be longer, some can be shorter. They don't have to be perfectly straight. And then I'm gonna take my dark blue and go over just the very bottom base of this white. I don't need to fully cover the white. I'm okay seeing some of it through just to add some of those lines on there. With that darker blue, I'm gonna go ahead very minimal, okay, very minimal. Pull some of those lines up. And the same thing, very minimal blue. Almost sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't along this back line, that dark blue. Now in this back space over here, I am gonna take a little bit of that medium blue color and just add a couple of little lines to show where the back of this jellyfish would be. All right, let's work on the waves of our jellyfish. So um, I'm gonna stick with these kind of colors, a little bit of purple, a little bit of blue. Um, I'm gonna stick with my number 10 round brush, but I'm gonna start with that medium blue color and I'm going to make some really wavy lines that go down. So I'm gonna do two of them. And these are gonna be kind of the center pieces of my jellyfish. So the rest of my lines can kind of go however I want. I can use any colors I want and I can squiggle and wiggle them down. If you are gonna use the dark blue, you might wanna add just a little bit of white first. I should have done that. Um, because that dark blue on top of that black does not show up well. So a little bit of white and then the dark blue really makes that dark blue pop. Now, when you're making your lines, you can make them straight like this. I'm sorry, not straight. You can make them wavy like that, or you can even make some that are a little bit straighter. And those straighter ones can even have some dots on them. So I can use my finger to put a couple of dots on those wavier ones. I'm gonna go over them a couple times, not adding any more paint, but just to let those blue and white mix a little bit. All right, so let's get some of these lines on there and add some more fun detail to it. I'm gonna go in with some white paint and I'm gonna add some white lines. So just very minimal, I don't need to do a lot, but I'm gonna add some straight white lines between these because um, these little curvy pieces I put on here originally, they tend to be connected and this will help you see that they're connected. I don't mind that my brush kind of separates a little bit and I get multiple lines. And again, these don't have to follow all the way down. Also going to take some white paint and I'm just going to make some little white long lines on some of these 
pieces as they just kind of go down just to give a little bit of highlight to them. I'm gonna go back up here with some white. I'm gonna add just small amounts of white on top of this blue to highlight it. Maybe even pull down some more of these. I don't like how this is all the same length. I really wanted it to be a little bit longer in the front. Sometimes when I'm painting, I look at things and I have to change it up. because I want it to look more rounded. And by bringing those lines down a little further in the front of this, in the top center area, it's going to make it look a little more rounded. So I'm going to add some more of that teal, some more of that white, just a little bit further down in this front area to give it more of a, an elongated look. Now let's talk about adding in some more of our green. I did say I wanted some green on top. So I'm going to go in with my white paint. I'm going to add another strand of green right here. Right on top of my jelly. And I'm gonna add another shorter strand right here on top of this part of my jelly. I was really waiting till the end to add my yellow in up here, but I was gonna put some yellow lines, but I actually think I'm gonna do some white lines. And I'm gonna have my brush, I've still got my number 10 round brush, okay? I'm really gonna flatten those bristles out really good. See how flat they are? And I'm gonna use some white paint, and I'm gonna make what I like to call ghost lines. So ghost lines are lines that sometimes you see and sometimes you don't. And with those ghost lines, I'm going to make some straight lines in my water right here. The last thing I'm gonna do is add some highlights to just some different areas. So with a little bit of white paint, I'm gonna add some highlights to the right side of my grasses because you can see the light is coming in there. So a little bit of white paint to the right side of my grasses. A Little bit of white paint to the right side of any of my coral as well as the top of them. And then just a couple of lines of white on some of my jellyfish lines. So I don't have to do all of them, but maybe just a couple of them, add a little bit of white to them just to make them kind of pop out from this dark background. Finish this off by adding a white line right at the top of my jelly. And then remember, you need to pick a color that's gonna show up well on your canvas and sign your name. I always put my initials in the bottom right corner of my art. Don't forget that I never get to see what you're making at home unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Make sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you are kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.